Hi and welcome back. I know this has been hungry related and promise. And just in generally me keep being like, hey, film this, wrote this, it's coming at your faces, and it never did, but it's finally here. My free Eva Toby Swim Club and free Eternal Summer Review. It's here. It's here. We're just we're finally getting this up. Let's just giving myself the pat on the back with just getting that out of the way. It's one of the many reviews I have lined up already, and I really wanted to do this one first, number one, because I promised it, and number two, because the uh, starting day's high-speed movie is going to be coming out later this year, and the trailers have been coming out a little bit, and that just really excites me because I've read a bit of high-speed, I need to finish it, and it's so good, and I can't wait. The movie looks really good. I'm really excited, but it kind of gave me that motivation to just, you know, get this out, finally get this done, and so I'm going to do just that right now. Oh, spoiler warning, there are going to be spoilers for this, because I'm going to be talking about things that I liked and didn't like, mostly um, negative things. Oh, those are, I say negative things because those are the things that I actually reference, so even if you're, if you're really concerned about free spoilers, don't watch this, go watch it. It's on Country Roll and or animation. It's streaming up there. And you can buy the DVDs if you want to support it. I was going to say that at the end of the video, but I might as well get that away. If you want to support the show in any shape or form, go buy the DVDs. Yeah, it's just have fun. In Free, Iwatobi Swim Club, the story revolves on Haru Fananase, a boy who has always loved to be immersed in water and to swim in it. Before graduating from elementary school, he participated in a swimming tournament along with his fellow swimming club members, Makoto Tachibana, Nagisa Hazuki, and Rin Matsuoka. After achieving victory, each of the boys went their separate ways. Time passed, and in the middle of their eventful high school lives, Rin appears and challenges Haruka to a match, showing Haruka his overwhelming power. Not wanting it to end like this, Haruka gathers Makoto and Nagisa once again and brings a new member named Rei to create the Iwatobi Swim Club in order to defeat Rin. In Free Eternal Summer, the Iwatobi Swim Club returns. As their third year begins, Haruka, Makoto, and Rin are still swimming strong, but choosing plans for their futures gloom. And as friends both new and old make their way into the picture, rivalries will take root once again. Will the team make it out stronger than before or sink under the pressure? Free, both Iwatobi Swim Club and Eternal Summer are really just beautiful shows aesthetically. A show that's more likely known for its pretty boys and muscles is really more than just that. Free has a very sweet and heartwarming story underneath all of that, and that really saves it. While not the most heavy plot-wise, Free has its fantastic and fun characters that all have different and bubbly personalities that really are its biggest strengths in the show. From what are it says Haruka, to Big Brother type Makoto, to muscle loving everybody is basically her when watching Ko. You really get attached to the characters and they're basically the saving grace of what makes this show so good. Everyone is so fun and full of life. It's really hard to not fall in love with all of the characters individually and to sort of find a favorite that you really connect with. Free, while I definitely do tend to see as a fun and silly show that is not meant to be taken super seriously, there are a few problems with it that I had that really affected how I enjoyed the show. While having all of these fun and vibrant characters, a a lot of them suffer from having little to no development. Characters like Makoto and Ko, who seem like main characters and you would think would get a lot of focus individually, really do not whatsoever. While we get bits and pieces, Makoto only seems to be there to be Haruka's friend. There's not much development for him, and while well, I guess you could say he doesn't really need it, he really suffers from not having any individual focus because everything about him seems to come back to Haruka. We don't really get to find out much about him compared to other characters, and in general, that makes him a bit boring compared to everyone else that's in the show. The only real storyline we get with Makoto by himself is towards the end of season two, when we learn he wants to teach kids how to swim, but in the end, that still ends up coming back to Haruka when they get into their fight, when Haruka learns that Makoto is going to be attending university in Tokyo to take classes for, you know, his teachings. Makoto never truly gets to have 
his own time to shine, and that's really disappointing to me because he has a lot of potential and he's very lovable, but we never get to see him really get to flourish. And as a main character, I feel like they could have done a lot more with him. And I definitely still love him, and he is still my favorite character, but it is very disappointing to see all of his potential and not as much of what they actually did with him. As for Ko, it's generally pretty an unspoken thing that a female character in a sports anime, despite this being a slice of life, isn't gonna get any focus. It would have been really refreshing to see, and it's kind of sad how little I actually remember her being in the final episodes. Like, that entire ending half of Eternal Summer, I don't... I literally couldn't tell you if she was there, and that speaks volumes, I think. Especially considering that she's the manager, and she's also related to one of the main characters. It's very strange to me that they couldn't have just put her in more, and that's a very small minor thing. It would have been really nice to see her more, I think because she had, she also had a lot of potential, like Makoto, and while she was never a main character, although I, I kind of consider her one because she, you know, she's been there since the beginning, I just, they could have, I'm disappointed about it. My main gripe with Free, however, has to be the final episode. Haruka's trip to Australia with Rin seems to dramatically turn his entire outlook on life from I just want to swim and to be in the water because I love it To I want to swim in the Olympics and compete and it seems very rushed and I would, I would even say out of character. Well, I think it is a nice ending. I feel like how they got there was so forced and so quick and we didn't really it just, I don't know, it seemed like a cop-out. It seemed like a very cop-out ending, as nice as it, I thought it was. What bothers me the most about it is that Haruka is literally dragged off to another country by his friend. Which, you know, trip, the fine, that was fine. I didn't mind that, but the fact that that was his fix for... He had a multitude of problems that were never addressed again. Um, just his general, like stopping in the middle of the race never brought up again we never get to hear or see him you know talk to anyone about that like what he was feeling and it really would have been nice to get some focus on his mental state at that point because especially afterwards we just kind of we know that he's all boarded up in his house and isn't talking to anyone after his fight with Makoto but I mean that's never brought up again. We never get to see if that was actually a bigger problem than it actually was, which I think it was. And it just, it, it, just the fact that the trip was the fix, I think is what bothers me the most. Because a trip to Australia, in my opinion, isn't going to change what we've been learning about this character for the past season, and I would say season and a half, maybe two. I don't know if having extra episodes would have fixed it or what they could have done differently but that honestly left a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth I thought it was a very cheap ending and while I was I, I still think it is a very nice ending I don't think it's a bad ending I just think it's a cop-out ending and I really would have liked to see a little bit more um how do I say this like a little more thought into how Maybe, like, I, I feel like maybe they had the ending planned out, but maybe not how they were going to get there in a way that was very natural. It just all felt very unnatural and very quick because it happened so fast, and I just wasn't satisfied. I didn't like it. I still, I mean, which is, you're, Taylor, you're a hypocrite. You just said it was a nice ending. It is, and I still think it, but if I could, if I could change that ending, I would. I don't know what I would do, but I would maybe, like, maybe they would have benefited for getting rid of some other storylines. Who knows? Sosuke, a character who is only there for one season, seemingly gets, like, a more complete and 
more satisfying storyline than our main protagonist. And something about that just really rubs me the wrong way, despite me having really enjoyed that storyline, and I thought it was really great. And it was really, I liked it, I liked it a lot, but it was something about that that fulfilled me more than horror, because it's just like, like, maybe, maybe something could have been changed there, you know? I really love all of these characters, and I think that's why I'm so critical, and why I'm, I don't want to say upset, because I'm not, like, raging about it, but why it really bothered me when things weren't, were clearly, very clearly not given equal treatment all around. But I love everyone, and I hope, I hope High Speed maybe does some good things. I'm really looking forward to that. The art, of course, is just A plus beautiful, beautiful backgrounds, beautiful just scenery, beautiful buds, got hot buds everywhere. Um, just every, the art style was so good. Just everything about it is just so like gifs are always beautiful to look at. Just videos and clips and Kyo and you like really, really hit it out of the park with this, and it's. Love, 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 love to look at it. Everything is so vibrant and stunning, and my god, the show exists. Just like to look at it, you are immediately like drawn in, and I think that's that's impressive. That is really impressive. A lot of the backgrounds are incredibly realistic, and the swimming is very well done. Like. Just, like, the water in general in this show is just, like, top-notch. Like, so realistic and so beautiful. And I, if I will ever just, like, fully sing the praises of this show, it will be about the art style. There's, n it's flawless. One of my favorite things about this show is the background music. It's got this beautiful balance of music that's really hyping you up um, when they're swimming. And then there's really beautiful melancholy tracks for when things are not as exciting. And then there's the really upbeat poppy tunes when there's a lot of really fun moments. Uh, they always play in the background with Nagisa and Ray especially. And I love those tracks. Those are so, so, so good. The music in the show really just meshes well and really heightens the experience and really matches up and just gives a better overall experience when you watch the show and it really just it makes everything better, especially with the beautiful art style, and it always just seems to really create the mood. The aggressive groove and eternal friendship are the best tracks. I can't sound any shape, but look them up and go listen to them right now on YouTube. Just go do it. Just ask questions. Just go do it. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Free while not the strongest show of Brown is definitely more than meets the eye. A show that seems to be just really fan service really has an underlying message of following your dreams and friendship and how hard it is to grow up and really decide who you want to be in life. While its development and its plot are a little bit weak, it's bright and vibrant characters and all of their fun quirks and their friendship in general are really what make the show what it is, which is a show about friendship and, you know, growing up and just, you know, like I said, just, you know, becoming somebody. And it's great to have those friends there when you aren't really sure what you want to be. The characters, like I've said, really are the saving grace of this show and I think they are what make it the most watchable. Um, unless you're just here for your, the hot bods, then you really just get an added bonus with some angst. That's what you're getting out of the show and some fun moments. Free is sweet and endearing and heartwarming, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't just go back and watch a few episodes when I'm not feeling, you know, at my 100% because it really just, it makes you feel really happy inside. Like I said, I'm really excited for the upcoming movie, which is coming out in December, and hopefully they release some more um, previews. I'm really, really hoping they release some more, because I need to see, I need to see more 
no school baddies. Overall, I give Free Eternal Summer and Free Evertoby Swim Club a 7 out of 10. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to support the show, you can watch it on Crunchyroll or Funimation. And on Funimation, you can watch Season 2 dubbed. And you can buy the DVD support, which directly, of course, supports the show and really keeps the anime. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Industry. It keeps the anime industry going, you know? It really just shows that you really love the show, and you should buy it if you get the chance, and if you have money, and if you really enjoy it. Um, because it's not just the dub on the DVDs, I promise. I wouldn't. Just do the DVDs. If you want to hear me talk about the dub, you can, um... Look at my summer video, what I've been watching, uh, that might already be up, that might not be, um, I'll link it here if it is, and it'll be in the down below, down, down here, that's, that's great, so, good job, good job, thank you for watching my first review, uh, definitely still working out kinks, this was really long, I know, and I hope you enjoyed it, if you have comments about it. And what I should review next, you should leave those down in the comments below and tell me who your favorite free boy is. Because everybody, like, you have a favorite. You have everyone, like, everyone has a favorite. It's just like everyone who watches Orange High School Host Club has a favorite host. But you should tell me your favorite boy, Men's Makoto, because kids and cats are really just my weakness. And, like, have you seen, like, have you seen that? Like, have you seen that post where it talks about how Makoto is just two Nagisas? Like, come on, just, just like he's just like he, he's everything you need in the husband. Also, you should check out fifty percent off, which is the free parody done by Mr. Alex Octopimp. I will link that right here, right here. It's so good, so funny. You should. A new bonus episode came out today, and it's worth it. It's so good. Go watch it. Go. If you, if you didn't like free, I think you'll enjoy it because it's so good. Alex. Alex is good at his job and making parodies. Go do that. If you want to follow me on any social media, that will be maybe at the end of the video. But it will definitely be in the description below. Oh, oh. So many verbs today. So many verbs. Holy cow. Anyway, that stuff is in the doobly video, And you like and favorite and stuff. That's... I don't know how to YouTube, guys. Just do it. And have a great day. Have a... Just because I said so. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next video. That sounds great, right? Good idea. Good idea, guys. Bye.